What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-pop for life, coming back at you. And let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a simple question. Come here. Come here. Closer. Come on. The fuck is wrong with you? It's way too close, weirdo. There you go. That's good right there. Listen. What's the hardest thing to find in K-pop? What's the hardest thing to find in K-pop on YouTube? Honesty. That's correct. You don't need to answer. I'm going to answer for you, all right? Honest K-pop YouTubers are very hard to find because the culture of K-pop is sort of the antithesis against honesty. It's really about being fake as fuck. So, I have for right here, right here on my notebook, three K-pop YouTubers that I subscribe to. Now, disclaimer, because you have to put disclaimers out nowadays because of the stupid terms of service and everything. This is not an official endorsement of these channels or any of their viewpoints, whatever they may be. These are simply channels that I subscribe to and that I like. So I don't also, just side note, I don't actually agree with everything they say. In fact, I disagree with a lot of, of, some, of one of them. I actually disagree with a lot of what they say. But I appreciate the honesty and I appreciate the fuck you attitude of it. So before we jump into it, I just want to say real quick, Internet Nathan has apparently called me out and challenged me to a race to 50,000 subs in 2019, which I think is kind of a bitch move on his part because he's already got like 40,000 subs to my like 24. So he's already got a huge lead. But hey, you want to play the underdog game, bro? I'm okay being an underdog, right? Because that's just going to make the victory so much sweeter. So help me out. Help me beat Internet Nathan and his lame-ass channel and come join Team Chubby Nation, all right? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. There's always a shit ton of content coming on this channel. I pretty much post almost every day. So you're never going to be short of content. But without further ado, let's jump into this. All right, so the first channel that I would like to recommend to you is a YouTuber by the name of Jessica Viba. I think that's how you say it. Um, just to keep in mind, too, everybody on this list is going to be well under 100,000 subs. Um, I'm not going to tell you a bunch of people you already fucking know that makes no sense. I'm not going to give you, like, form of therapy or, you know, JRE. Like, anybody with that high of subs, you already know who they are. Let's be real. These are people that sort of go under the radar and they deserve more attention. And Jessica Viba is one of them. I really enjoy her videos. I just found her a couple weeks ago. She was in my recommended thing. And, um, you know, as a 32-year-old fart who's into K-pop... Um, my perspective on life and K-pop and all this stuff in general is very different from somebody who's younger. And she's like, I don't know, she's probably, uh, she's probably about 18 to 20. I don't know. But she does a lot of cool videos where she just sort of covers different, you know, trends, different um, drama or, you know, whatever going on in the K-pop world. And I really appreciate her opinion on it because... While I agree with some of it, a lot of it I don't necessarily agree with, but I I like to see it from the perspective of somebody younger because it helps me sort of, you know, understand and, and, and maybe relate to somebody that's from a different generation to me and from a different country in this case, and that just sees the world through a different lens. I appreciate that. She's got a cool video where she sort of tells about where she came from and, uh, you know, her growings up in, in uh, the Philippines and a couple other places. Just an interesting channel. She has interesting opinions. Um, some of the videos are obviously probably geared more towards a younger audience. Um, but I really like the stuff that she does in terms of just like covering K-pop events and stuff like that. Uh, so I recommend her channel. Go check her out. I'm going to put links in the description to all these people in the comments in the description box below. And uh, and, and give drop her a subscribe. And tell her where you came from. Tell her, tell her, tell her K-pop for life says what's up. Okay, we need more love amongst the K-pop community. Okay, except for Internet Nathan. Fuck that guy. Everybody else needs to love each other. <laughs> so next up, we're going to be looking at a channel called Dare DB K-pop. Now, you probably heard of this channel. Uh, I think he's got about 60,000-ish subs the last time I looked. But I've been binging his stuff a lot. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of face cam, if any, but he does a lot of voiceover stuff. Dude is fucking hysterical. Always has me cracking up. Isn't afraid to say what's on his mind. And uh, just the presentation of the videos is really well done. Let me show you his channel real quick. So yeah, all of his videos are really well done. He always has a lot of, uh, I would say, more interesting type videos. Like the one he just posted was top 20 best K-pop group names 
based on your SEO or your search engine optimization. So this dude's got a really interesting channel. He covers a lot of the topics that go on, but he also just makes whatever videos he fucking feels like making. He's not afraid to give his opinion. That was right, 65,000. Uh, seems like a really cool guy. Uh, if you like sarcastic humor and a little bit more irreverent, then you will like this channel. It's, it, it's very obvious why he's been growing pretty rapidly recently. He deserves it. And if you haven't heard of him, or you've sort of, you know, been a passerby in some of his videos, go drop a subscribe on his channel. Um, a lot of his content is fantastic. I mean, K-pop songs to play at my funeral. When have you seen a comment like that before? Like, he's got a lot of original, more, more original content than pretty much anybody else you're going to find with this kind of stuff. And again, honesty and um, well, a deep knowledge of K-pop in general. He really knows his shit, which I appreciate. And last and least in subscriber count, but not least in my heart, a channel that has, in my opinion, a shit ton of potential. I, I don't understand why this particular person who I've talked to a few times um, is a little bit, I would say maybe a little bit insecure and a little bit uh, unsure of herself is the best way to do it. But when she makes content, it's really good. It's really fucking good. She has, I'll show you her channel really quick. So the name is Jadella, and with little X's be, at the beginning and the end. Um, there's not a ton of content yet, and it's not a lot of frequent content because it seems to be very sporadic when it's dropped. But when it's dropped, it's very good. Now I normally uh, don't listen to like mixes and stuff like that because a lot of times they just suck. But she's got a few of her own remixes that she does. She's really good at mixing sound. She has a Hyuna Roll Deep uh, remix. She's got this Hello Bitches remix and a few other ones that are fantastic. The Hyuna Roll Deep one, not only does she remix the song in it, but she also changes up like the color palette in the video. And I'm watching it going, yes, this is what the fucking video should have actually looked like when Cube dropped it. And then um, does she does some, a smattering of reactions, but she also is sort of more creative in the sense that she likes to sing so she did a parody of a couple ones and especially she did a parody of jenny solo if you didn't like jenny solo you'll like the parody because it's spot on i didn't like jenny solo and the parody she does that she sings herself is fantastic this channel only has 288 subscribers but i'm hoping that by shouting her out and you guys going and subscribing and dropping some comments that we can get her to come out of her shell, put her fucking face on camera, and start dropping more consistent content because I actually have a lot of faith in this channel and I feel like it could go places. It, She has an honest and unique look at K-pop. She knows her shit about a lot of the stuff. And more importantly, again, she's honest and she says if she doesn't like something, she has good reasons as to why. Go check out this channel. It's definitely worth the watch. And I have a few honorable mentions that I'd like to throw out there. Now, Hayes Gang reacts. I've shouted him out before, but I'm going to shout him out again. I think that you guys should go check out this channel because I'm noticing a lot of growth in the channel, right? Like every reaction channel that starts out, you just do reactions. And if you really get into it, if you're really a fan of K-pop, like I can tell this dude is. I talked to him. He's a super, he's a super cool guy. I really like him. And um, uh, the... You can tell his content is starting to drift a little more towards non-reaction stuff. He's made a few like face cam videos where he's talking about current events. And um, I can tell that he's put the money into his channel. His, his quality's gone up. He's got a better camera. And uh, I can tell he's like there's growth little by little. And that he actually really has a passion for what he's doing. And I respect that. And I like that. And he's honest in his videos about how he feels. And um, I think as he goes... As it gets more comfortable, as he learns more about the process of making these videos and stuff, I think that he will grow into a bigger channel. Also, he's sexy. So, ladies, if you want a sexy reactor, go check him out. He's got a he's took my advice on a couple things and he did some shirtless reactions. <laughs> so things I could never do. But go check him out. Uh, hit the subscribe button on him as well. And help me get to that 50k before Nathan. Hashtag Team Big Will. Hashtag Team Chubby Nation. Hashtag hell no team internet Nathan. Okay, let's do the damn thing. Let's beat them there. And uh, again, I'm just going to say it again because I say it in all my videos. It's kind of my thing. Keep on popping, K-poppers. And remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. Deuces.